Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? It has been, uh, it was, we see each other almost every day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, gentlemen, I can't believe it happened, but it happened. The memes tab is dried up. <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm sick of my shit too, I get it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I was memes, I'm gonna jump over to Adam memes, cause you know what? Get off me. <laughs> okay. You're defensive, thank you very much. What type of dog is this? This is a tortoise. Alright. <laughs> I haven't done that side quest yet. I guess I missed it. Shame. Damn. Looks great. There is a dog. Oh, and the th the uh, bosses. Sorry. God damn it. Sorry. That's my mistake. <laughs> oh, I remember it's some weird lord thing where he's the dog. Anyways. Dude, I am. I am in it. <laughs> I uh, I didn't get it until I got it. <laughs> the whole Elden Ring thing. I was seeing everyone to give like 10, 10 out of 10 reviews. And I was sitting there like, man, I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> it's just fucking gone. And then finally I'm like, you know what? I want to make my own fun. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to get this weapon. Okay. That feels pretty good. <laughs> that went, okay, I'm gonna get the spell. Well, this spell's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, we're gonna achieve this. We're gonna get all the beast powers. Fuck me, this dude's just like the content werewolf motherfucker is huge and just impossible to beat. I'm gonna weaken him with with arrows. And then you end up having like this journey of like hell, <laughs> but it's actually quite enjoyable because everybody you just getting advantages. Uh, whereas most of Dark Souls one, it's like if you fucked up your investment in skills, eat a dick. <laughs> you're now fucked. And you're gonna have to chew through this boss and memorize every single attack pot pattern he has. Giant sort? If only I had a lift. He wants to. <laughs> does he want to kiss or pick him up like a little tiny child? I don't know. Also, what is that, man? I'm sorry. The whole like story, like, would it kill FromSoft? Would it rip out your whole player experience if you just had like an auto, a, a log, even if it's just like a shitty, impossible to read journal of your character scribbling like, well, this guy said to go near this place. He said, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm going down this, this stupid thing. And it's like, they, he said east of what? Where, where am I right now? <laughs> like, what? What do I do? He said he wanted to be clear an encampment. We're in the middle of a fucking desert. <laughs> what are we talking about? And then like everyone, everyone goes to like off field. You go to Wikipedia and you're like, what the fuck? You go to a video that someone's like, <laughs> uh, and it's just like, what? <laughs> what? What is that? It's just the most frustrating shit ever. You're like this just seems, out of all the things that I think have a place in the game, the absolute nonsense of the quest system is Absolute bullshit. I'm gonna get hate for that. I'm sure I'm sure people are gonna be like it, 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 it makes it so that you have to explore you fucking kidding me You're a uh, 90% of what that is is you being like I Don't know. I th apparently this guy knows me because <laughs> you've seen his ass 16 hours ago <laughs> And you're not you're lost dude be like mimic tier sucks MF you made the character the mimic has unlimited uh, uh, mana so if well, I could see him being shit for every, every other build maybe but just the fact that you can keep, you can have like, if you're Faith, baby, you're ki you're killing it. Cause Faith can heal like crazy. <laughs> and Faith can also just start doing like a bunch of high cast things. I guess magic is the best, like a wand. Like even if you just summon meteorite, like hold down the thing, just <laughs> a bunch of shit. I'm really excited for the, for the magic playthrough. Although I am happy I chose Faith. Cause it's like, you can kind of like throw a lightning bolt a little bit. But you still got to get in there usually in order to deal a lot of your damage. Or at least maybe that's just the way I've fit because of the beast scaling I've vied for. <laughs> ding a ling Double Giga Chad. Double Giga Chad. At some point, do you think this man has so much jaw meat that that his like his face would just be like super tired? You know, like that's just a lot of meat to hold. Also, oh my god. <laughs> Also, what? <laughs> that looks either she is tiny or that woman is Sasquatch. <laughs> that is incredible. Elden Ring, my free time, dude. It's I haven't played a game like it in a while that's made me want to stream daily. That's like that's me like fuck. <laughs> I think this would be fun to stream. I think I want to do it so we can like archive it forever because it's always a goofy time of us being terrified of being of the inevitable death behind every corner. But also the fact that we're getting marginable increases in our build and synergizing more and 
Regardless, also, that is the most thigh I've ever seen, and golly, <laughs> just golly gee willikers. I think that was fluff. Guys literally only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> that person. I want, dude. I want an armor set or something like that. Also, he's definitely like a berserk reference, right? Or something. <laughs> it very much feels that way. But, dude, I. It sucks a little bit. I see, like, the, the armor that I'm like, dude. Because I'm, I'm cosplaying a werewolf beastmaster person. Don't ask. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Anyway. Werewolf movie lover, a monster movie lover, I'm, I'm all into it, and that's why I'm vicariously living through this game. Anyways, the armor that facilitates that, there's not many. There's like one dark arm. It makes me look like I'm fucking Sauron from the War of the Rings. Not necessarily like a wolf person, but... Anyways, also, the armor is like, sometimes the armor that looks the coolest is heavy as fuck. So you're just this dainty-looking wizard. You're like, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm just a fucking douche. <laughs> anyway, you can only pick one. Choose wisely a cat girlfriend. She loves you. That's cringe. <laughs> just the quote. The cat girlfriend was one thing. The she loves you is cringe. Uh, a cat girlfriend. A cat grill friend makes food for you. Is this like a Monster Hunter thing? Um, I was gonna make a really fucked up joke. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna, never mind. Never mind. Okay, this, we talked about this on stream once. You had this god that came to you and said, "I will give you someone who is your ideal waifu and will love you." Uh, isn't that a little fucked up? Because the person never chose you. Like, isn't that one of the beauty, th beautiful things about like actual beautiful friendships, relationships, everything? That a person chose you and continues to choose you, to be there for you, to even though you might be flawed, to say, "Hey, uh, I still choose you, uh, and I still want you." Out of all the people in the world, I wasn't forced to love you. I wasn't forced to do anything like that. I, it's out of my own volition and will. You, you, and you again. Uh, that to me is beautiful. So the idea that some thing would just inherently love you uh, without any sort of investment or doing or, or earning or, or not even earning, but just like, yeah, time. Like just like you don't even know the thing. The thing knows, does not know anything about something, but then inherently cares so deeply about it. That seems odd. Um, so to me, I don't know. We talked about this on stream. Way too much of philosophy, weird nonsense questions turning into actual like, no, sorry, nonsense questions turning into some sort of weird philosophy debate with us. Love our Saturday streams, but yeah, I don't know. That to me would, it's weird. If something could just innately be forced to love you, what's the fucking point a little bit, you know? I feel like it would be a hollow, empty husk. Also, we've seen this on stream and it was, it got better the more you look at it and also worse, <laughs> which is girls with Photoshop. Oh my God, now I can make myself look pretty. Boys with Photoshop. The one, the bottom left one was so... Fucking, I can't handle it. <laughs> I look at look at it in my peripheral, and I fucking can't. It's so cringe and horrible. The minute I look at it, I'm like, stop it, stop. What is wrong? Why? Also, uh, girls can't send signals. Also, just I mentioned this on stream as well. Absolutely incredible core strength, and just honestly, that probably the joint hip strength mobile. Goddamn, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because you all hate me, <laughs> and it's fine. I hate me sometimes too. It's fine. Uh, we are now in anime memes because <laughs> we've run out of memes. And all the oh, I've tried to go up, and there's just Valentine's memes. And I feel like a fucking asshole. <laughs> I, I feel like a McDouche reading Valentine's Day memes. This past, I know, I know, we've been there. I don't want to be there again. All right, anime memes. Uh, the RGB goddess. I ordered what I got. That would be that would be horrible. <laughs> the, just the actual like the first one. What is your problem? The person just constantly sitting there like, I'm fucking gonna stroke out. <laughs> just constant colors and movement. Jesus Christ. I am I'm massively impressed by these all being animated. Massive. Me, my dong, with anything in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, trying to rip it out. Like, stop, stop fighting me. No, <laughs> no. Oh, I mean, I, the, the, oof. I never realized how, uh, how do I put it? Like, basically, we have big old dogs. Like, big old dogs. Like, uh, kill your dog kind of thing. We loved it a bit, and they were always the ones where, like, drop it, drop it, and then they would drop it. So, kind of like, okay, or like you'd pull it out of their mouth or anything, anything like that. But we had them since they were, like, very, very young, like babies, essentially. Not babies, but like, as soon as you can have a dog, we had them. Whereas we, we now had a dog uh, in our family where uh, essentially we had him, like, a couple months after another family already got their hands on him, already kind of 
shaped him in a way, I guess. Uh, and he he's like a love bug, love do, lovey dug dog, that kind of thing. But he does have this like this thing that we never felt before. Whether that's because the family that we took him from was actually a bunch of shitty people, I don't know, or if it's because they like they they're, they didn't have like the discipline or whatever. But anyways, basically when I when like when you're doing various things like cutting their na- his nails or taking something out of his mouth or maybe. Um, something like that, he, like there'll be like a visceral like growl, and I've I've never felt that because I've always had like a good relationship with dogs, and also they've all there's been like a mutual respect. Anyways, it was the first time when I was just like, excuse me, <laughs> like what? You want to eat this plastic and die, and you're gonna be mad at me for not wanting you to kill yourself? Eat me, <laughs> okay? It was it was annoying. But anyways, it's a testament to uh to animals being different and me being quite lucky about having just really, really fantastic ones. Or maybe it's the way you treat them, I don't know. Fellas, if your favorite mecha anime has a quiet girl who doesn't care about herself enough, uh, a shy, nervous boy who looks kinda like a girl, does he look like a girl? A little scuff girl? Uh, an angry and loudest g- German on the planet. That's not a mecha anime. That's the Russian. <laughs> I was about to say, is this, how does this connect? Tack on Titan? I, flesh Mecha, maybe? I don't know. No, Naruto really he, he saved it for me. <laughs> that was not bad. I don't mind that one. El, Ellen, what are you thinking about? A dog? I am blown away at the amount of... The amount of actual, like, animated GIF. It seems like 90% of them animated. Anna memes, different level, <laughs> different level. Oh, Ellen, sorry, <laughs> Ellen ring me. Um, me, a new weeb watching 12 or more uh, in <laughs> anime a day. Now, as a veteran weeb, still watching 12 or more anime episodes a day, cause I have no, lo- I was about to say, that's like, you. this is just a time thing. Like when you were a kid, I hope <laughs> you were a child, uh, when you were a child, you have an exorbitant amount of time and not a damn understanding of what to do with it. When you're a grown man, woman, etc., or just happen, maybe just have a fucking full time job or whatnot, this goes, it's no no longer works. You have to, like, what do you, what do you want? Don't want to die early, so you're going to exercise, you're going to eat right, you're going to hopefully make enough money to sustain yourself, you're going to find hobbies that make you not want to, you know, fucking melt, melt down. Uh, and, and now you're like, hey, Best I can do is like three episodes every two days, <laughs> or maybe every week. <laughs> All right. Doesn't mean I don't love it less. That's the one thing that I've I've seen that I've I managed to fend off entirely. But a lot of people talk about like the anime loop. I don't know. You basically just you hate it. Like you eventually like the like you've watched so many that you kind of just said no. And maybe it's because I've, I've never been the person to binge like like a whole season. I can't say I've done that twice, and I hated it because I ended up like being tired by halfway through, and I wasn't even enjoying it really. I was just doing it to do it um but anyways uh yeah i don't have the feeling of like anime is still just as cool to me as it ever was and i think it's because people like overdose on it like they just like bash their head against it uh, and they don't enjoy it as much whereas me i'm still like really enjoying it but mine like i said i only watch like three episodes a week you know uh sometimes i go to the whole hog on sundays i watch like six episodes maybe (laughs) but yeah but my problem is also when i get to the end of the anime i stop i don't want to finish it so like because i'm like i'll be over or i'll be waiting in the limbo hell of of waiting for a season two for four years and i'm like i can't (laughs) sorry uh someone who hasn't watched the rise of the shield hero rising of the shield hero i kind of like her punches him and annihilates him yeah well well yeah it's not it's not great <laughs> it's not great although remember when that when that show first came out and there were controversies about people being like it's it's fucked up and it's like she's literally the worst <laughs> i like how the argument dissolved entirely when people like when um, eventually like i think most of the season came out because she just at every turn it's like no 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 I am meant to be the worst human imaginable. Like, even if you don't agree with it, it's just, I just keep hyper stacking. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna ruin everyone's life. It's just about me. Hey, by the way, I still get a, I still get a jail, uh, get out of jail free card. Maybe at the end. And, uh, and I still am a bitch. I'm still wretched. I'm still the worst. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> fuck, fuck that person. I was about to say, is she crying? I can barely see it. Uh, me watching romance anime and still don't have a boyfriend in real life. Uh, wasn't that why you watch it? I don't know many people who watch romance 
like slice of life tips type situations who are in fact in a relationship so you know <laughs> just feel like that might be a thing this is a great uh anime it's on netflix i would highly suggest watching it it's uh it's the the, the way of the house husband uh, it is very good, although I will admit I did burn out a little bit on the monotony <laughs> of watching this man do weird things, <laughs> okay? I am trash who wants like explosions and progression, <laughs> so forgive me. Uh, Tanjiro having uh, five broken ribs, two punched, punctured lungs, two broken legs, and a broken arm. He was hospitalized and didn't wake up for five months. Fine. Hundo percent okay. Bang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last one. Uh, aliens watching Earth uh, going to shit uh, in season three. Aliens who haven't read the manga. What does that mean? It's about to, it's about to end? I don't understand. What? What? What do you mean? Light novel readers, web novel readers manga readers saying they know what happens next <laughs> yeah light novel readers that's the og right well sometimes sometimes you go back and like clarify a lot web novel yeah so yeah so nom like novel readers versus manga readers because it probably just takes innately longer time to to make you know create imagery surrounding the idea rather than just the written word but uh man it can't be me <laughs> it can't be me uh the real maybe i don't know i have not read a a, an audiobook version of like a, a fantasy book, I guess, which I probably would be good because I know sometimes they up the quality and they make it like they had like the chime sounds and like oh different voices and shit, which would be probably pretty cool. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for putting out with me. Hopefully, I can see you guys again in the next video. Uh, who knows what it'll be? We do it too much on the channel and it's a lot, honestly. But hopefully, I can see you there. Thank you so much for putting out with me. Um, and yes, uh, hopefully, I can see you in the next video again. Goodbye.